Let's start by installing Nextin with npm. Next, in your app.js file, import the theme provider from Nextim and wrap the component inside this provider. Then, set the enable system prop to true so that the prefers color scheme is used to detect if the user has requested a light or dark color theme from its operating system or browser settings. We also need to set the attribute prop to class so that the class HTML attribute is used to store the active theme, which is then going to be monitored by Tailwind CSS to apply the size according to the current theme. Next, in the Tailwind CSS config file, change the dark mode property from false to class. Now, whenever the dark class is present earlier in the HTML tree, Tailwind CSS will apply the dark styles, otherwise it applies the live theme by default. Great. Now let's add the ability to toggle the dark mode manually from the user interface. Open the header.js file from the section folder and import the youth theme hook from next team along with the moon icon and the sun icon components from hero icons. Then retrieve the system theme, the theme and the set theme property by calling youth theme at the top of your component. From there, Create a new method named render theme changer and get the current theme from the system or the theme variable. Now, if the current theme is dark, we return the sun icon component and implement the onClick event by using the set theme method to toggle the theme back to light on click to this icon. Otherwise, we return the moon icon and set the theme to dark on click. Finally, we can call this new method right inside our JSX to render the current theme icon and align it with our logo with Flexbox. Actually, there is one more thing we need to do to avoid hydration mismatch. Because we cannot know the theme on the server, the values returned from youth theme will be undefined until mounted on the client. In other words, our theme icon will not match the actual current theme. And that's pretty bad for user experience. So to fix this, we need to make sure we only render our icon when the page is mounted on the client. So import the use state and use effect hooks from React and create a new state variables to track if the component has been mounted or not on the client side. Set the initial value to false and then set its value to true inside a use effect hook. Finally, inside the render theme changer function, check if the component is mounted before rendering the UI for the theme changer. Now that everything is all set, let's add the style to our element using the dark variant from Tailwind CSS. Save your file and refresh your browser. You can now change the theme of your application manually from the UI, which is what we wanted.